If you watched my previous video, you'll know that I got the uh, Voyager S3 in order to be able to connect a lot of my old drives up to any of my laptops in order to access files that may still be on them. But the other reason that I got them is I've got a bunch of old drives that I've taken out of computers over the years and I didn't really want to just send them off to be recycled without making sure all of the data was cleaned off first. I don't know what's on some of these drives. Um, I've got seven of them here. I've got several more in a drawer and I, I'm not really sure what's on a lot of these drives. Maybe it's something insignificant. Maybe it's got my bank account information. I'm not really sure. So the thing I wanted to do before I got rid of any of these drives was make sure that I formatted them and completely remove the possibility that somebody could get access to data that I wouldn't want them to have. And this makes it easy because I can connect up the drive to the computer, but let me go through the steps that you should follow in order to make sure that your own drives are ready to be sent to recycling. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to format the drive using the format that's, that's built into Windows. And new volume E is the drive that I'm wanting to format. I gotta do is right click, format, and then if you uncheck quick format, it will take a little bit longer, but it will overwrite uh, more effectively on the drive. Instead of just setting it as being empty, it will do some actual formatting to the drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start on that, and it's gonna warn me that it's going to erase all the data. Click okay. It's gonna take a couple of seconds, maybe minutes, hard to say. It's an approximately 400 gig drive. After the formatting of the drive is complete, I use secure delete or S delete to make sure that all of the files on the drive are completely unrecoverable because a format actually just tells the file system to mark everything as gone, but a low level file recovery tool would in fact allow you to recover possibly some of the data so I'm using S delete to kind of take it a step further and make sure that everything is as unrecoverable as possible. And while you can see it here in this folder in the documents directory, this isn't actually an installed application, it just runs as a standalone. Uh, you actually have to run it from the command line. The easiest way to get to it is to go to you with the start button, hit R and it will pull up the run command window and you type in CMD and that pulls up the command line and then you just need to put in the path of the folder where you have s delete. You gotta type cd for change directory first, and then type it in. And then you're in the correct directory. And you can see that you're in the correct directory with uh, s delete there by typing in the dir, which is uh, show a list of the directory contents. And there you can see s delete.exe. So if you wanna know what options you have when using s delete, type in s delete.e exe and then dash help and it will show you the various choices that you have since what we want to do is clean all the free space on the drive and which will cause s delete to write over the top of absolutely everything we're going to type in s delete dot exe dash c and then you want to put in the drive letter in this case the drive letter is e colon and a backslash Make sure you put in the correct drive letter for your drive because on your computer, the drive letter E might be something different. And then you hit enter and it will tell you that it is, the delete is set for one pass. You can have it do multiple passes, but uh, after doing some testing on a drive, I found it like unrecoverable with any of the various applications that I've purchased in the past to recover deleted files. So I'm assuming that for the most part, one pass is good enough. And this will take a while um, on this 400 gig drive, I did another 400 gig drive and it was gonna take a couple of hours. So you just kind of set it and walk away or do something else. You can see I've already got a hole here in this drive. I'm gonna put a couple more holes in before I'm done. And it's important to keep a couple things in mind. First, you'll see that I have uh, a phone book in this case underneath the drive because I don't wanna accidentally drill through into the table. So make sure that you put something behind the drive that you don't care if uh, you put a hole in it so that, that way you don't damage your surface when you're drilling a hole. The other thing is wear protective eyewear so that you don't damage your eyes because if you lost your data and your eye, that would really kind of defeat the purpose. And third, make sure you've got a metal drill bit. Uh, I mean, all drill bits are metal, but I mean one that's designed to drill through metal 
so that that way you'll have an easier time with the drilling. With that, let's put some holes in this thing.